Hello, my name is Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man and today I'm going to be talking to you all about lava. Why do I start the videos off like this? It's because I'm happy and I'm not just going to be like, hi, my name is Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man. No, I'm happy, okay? I'm happy. I'm fired up talking about lava today. Hi, talk about lava. How cool. Let's get straight into it because I'm teaching you the secrets of lava. <laughs> And this is how this is how I am in all my videos. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Lava. Starting off with a secret right away. This might not be a secret to some of you. It contains all the elements in it. So we're talking about lava gemstones. So there's red lava and there's black lava. There's lava of different qualities. And the waxier lava, which I'm actually wearing lava. I can show you guys. So the waxier lava is actually and that it's right by the string so i use this string as a mark to tell which stones which because they're all different black stones but the waxier lava is very very high quality and yeah there's different qualities lava some some quality lavas are just very ashy like or less defined or more porous with i mean there's different quality lavas you can google search that so straight into it lava is a complete bulldozer this is a bulldozer spiritually. I'll put more lava on the website soon, as long as I explain. And different lava from different regions are hold different power. They hold the different powers of the volcano because every volcano has its ley line of energy. Not many people know this. So ooh, when you get lava and you're getting lava from a volcano, that's, uh, for example, one in Iceland, one over here. I mean, just because there's different lavas. There's different lavas from different regions. I'm not going to name all the regions because I don't want to get the names incorrect. And But you can Google search that as well. Yeah, Google search certain where different lavas are from because I'm not going to name every every mountain in this video or every volcano in this video. But in certain lavas, for example, I can say the ones in Hawaii, uh, you can't take that lava. You can't. It's marked by the uh, spirits of the land, the deities the land. So if you try to take lava from Hawaii, you're eternally cursed. Like you're so cursed to the point where if you don't give it back, the deity will end you. That's why they have a lava shipping center there because people who don't believe it, they'll try to take the lava. The deity will spiritually attack you so hard. And by deity, it's, a, it's an elemental spirit. It's an earthen spirit. Like it's a very old spirit. It's, it's literally, uh, and you can do research on that because I don't teach about specific deities. I'm teaching about lava, so I'm keeping the topic on lava, okay? I'm not de deviating from the topic at all. But... So the only lava you really can't take is mainly the, Ma I mean, not Mexican, but Mexican you can't take, Hawaiian lava. So don't go to Hawaii and pick up a lava rock because you'll literally get attacked from the high heavens, okay? Or from a very specific place. Now, what does lava do? It's incredibly grounding. When you wear lava, it combines a couple chakras. It combines the, the the root chakra your fight or flight it makes you fight for your goals it makes you not run away from what you're supposed to be running i mean what you're supposed to be actually doing so it calms you down and it has a very strange balance of the stone so you feel very calm and grounded but you feel very bold at the same time so when you use this stone it's just like you're calm and you're super grounded but you're like let's get this done so it's like in a very laid back way because just think about how lava moves watch some videos of lava Watch how lava moves down the mountain, and it's not, it's not rushing, it's not, I mean, sometimes it's going, and it's splattering, but when, it, when lava moves, it's like, and what happens when there's something in the way of lava? Does anyone want to tell me? It's ran over and burnt. <laughs> Essentially, spiritually, uh, physically, and emotionally, the same thing happens. So anything that's in your way, anything that's in your way of lava, when you wear lava, it just runs it over. That's the easiest way to, des to, to describe it. Because I could say it any other way, but lava will just bulldoze stuff. It runs it over and it burns it. Let's give you, let's give you guys some examples because this is really exciting. And I think this is really cool. So if... For example, 
if there's uh, people trying to spiritually attack you, lava acts as a return to sender crystal. So anything in your way, like when you're wearing lava, especially as an act, especially around the throat, I'll teach you why in a second, but it gives you lava breath. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound appetizing. Like, yeah, you went to the di dinner table, like, oh, that person had lava breath. It, it was hot. Well, no, it actually gives you a different kind of speech, but let me reword that. So when it comes to lava, if there's someone spiritually attacking you, it's not always instant, but it will run the person over, send them, send their energy back, and it will basically destroy all they have, kind of like Mexican fire. I get a little secret about lava. So it just annihilates and destroys anything. Can I teach you guys more secrets about lava? It's a good stone to have in your car, or if people are road raging with you. <laughs> just like Mexican fire agate, it transforms anything in its way. So let's just say people are cutting you off in traffic. It basically, their energies will hit the lava stone instead of for you. If people are cursing you in traffic, blah, 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 blah. Because in the, in the summertime especially, people are very hot. Well, hot as in like hot tempered because it's hot outside. So the lava will amplify their negative energy and send it back. What's the difference between lava and obsidian? Completely different gemstones, completely different en energies. Lava is mineralized. Obsidian is a, it's lava that's mineralized so fast it hasn't, I mean, it mineralized so fast it hasn't, it cooled so fast it hasn't gotten a chance to mineralize. That's why I'm not saying the scientific key definitions when I talk on my uh, YouTube channel is because I'm like, okay, I don't have a book with me, I don't have notes, I'm going straight off my heart, mind, and soul. Through the Lord, uh, I'm not teaching directly from a dictionary, so that's why I suggest for you guys to research the actual compositions in lava and how it's made, etc. But... It's a complete spiritual bulldozer. Anything in your way runs it over. It's a road opening stone. Now let's talk more about what lava does. Yay, when it runs over stuff, it makes new land. It makes new land. It makes new places for you to go. So for example, when lava emerges out of a volcano and let's just say all this dead plant life was in the way, it runs over the, the dead plant life and it solidifies, it cools, and now new life can grow on top of it. Same thing applies with your goals, and same thing applies with you spiritually. So these are the secrets of lava, because online like stability, grounding, stability, peace, tranquility, confidence. Online is very boring about information, because they don't, I mean, pe most people writing these crystal blogs, and I'm not, I'm not afraid to say it, uh, they don't really wear crystals, nor do they have experience with crystals, but they're more so just talking about crystals because it's something for them to sell. That's why when you get crystals from certain places, it doesn't have that feeling. That's why when you get it from floridastoneman.com, you can feel the crystals because I literally live this knowledge, especially the knowledge of lava. I'm studying it so in depth right now and meditating with the energies of lava stones. They're so beautiful. I mean, black lava specifically is the most protective. Red lava is the most offensive. So if you can get red lava, which I have as an anklet, I'm not sticking my leg in the air on this video. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just gonna leave the anklet on, but red lava, it's lava that's red. It's very hot. So anytime someone messes with you, it sends their energy back so heavily, it'll just basically fry the person spiritually, okay? It's lava, it's pretty cool. So. You'll notice when you're wearing lava, you'll have more energy. More people around you are going to be hot or tempered just to reveal themselves to you. So lava has the energy of revealing. So in a volcano, you never knew inside that. I mean, most people know inside of a volcano, all this lava is pouring out. But unless the lava didn't come out, then it didn't reveal itself to you like that which shouldn't have to reveal itself to you for the, you to know it's lava, but some, same thing applies spiritually. Sometimes these people shouldn't be messing with you when you're a child of God and you're very protected, but they just had to show themselves to you so they get their karma. Maybe they're supposed to get their karma in three years, but and they're just gonna mess with you here and there and cause you inconveniences, or they'll just mess with you all at once and boom, there, go, there goes their karma and you don't have to deal with them again. And the laws in the universe state that when that person's removed, a new person will have to fill in the gap because that's spiritual law. So it'll make people get their karma much quicker. It, it heats people up who are really bad. So, oh, it's good for getting rid of the demons too. Let me talk about that. And even because 
this is really cool information, but people who have demons hiding inside of them, the one thing people might disagree with, but I've been finding this as a trend. I'll teach more about this in the future, but I have found out demons don't like fire. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Fallen angels do not like fire like that. They don't like it. They don't like lava. They don't like fire. And maybe that's why it's called the river of fire. Is where the, the demons are heading because God knows they don't like it. it. Think about this. Ooh, this is super interesting. It's They're not very fond of it. So when people have fallen angels inside of them or actual demons inside of them, they'll quickly reveal themselves to you. I've had someone walk past me today, for example, when I was wearing extra lava. And I don't know if my the, the angel next to me rubbed against the demon or whatever but i'm just like just standing there i'm just working out and all i hear is that's how you feel that's how you feel about me and i'm like i look over and the guy's like ah. and he looked like he went full-fledged possessed and i'm like i'm just working out man <laughs> chill but the lava and i thought i thought to myself i'm like the lava is not chill it's nothing but chill it's actually one of the hottest things on the earth which is one thing you can expect is when you're wearing obsidian or lava, it's gonna heat up negative energy. That's that's what I mean. Sometimes things have to be heated up to get rid of. So, for example, if you have like a, something like to remove an arrow that's stuck, you would heat it up and remove it. Versus if it's just stuck in there, it's gonna be cold. To remove something, oh, that's like a good example. To remove something stuck on a pan, you heat the pan up and you scrape it off versus just trying to scrape it off when it's not heated up. Oh, cool example as well. I love these examples. I'm going in depth on lava. How cool. So lava has all four elements in it. So it masters all elements of the zodiac sign. So if you're a water sign, lava's for you. If you're a fire sign, water's for you. Air sign, because water, earth sign, lava. All these elements are lava. They're all lava and magma. Okay, so magma, lava, essentially, uh, they're different, but they, they, let's just say for the spirituality's sake, the energy are the, are the same in the stone. So it holds the energies of where it came from. Cool. So basically you're, you're gonna be walking around with volcano energy. So if people want smoke, volcanic smoke is poisonous, okay? So when people try to mess with you, that's the last time they'll mess with you. So that's one thing I can say about, vol I mean, if you want less people messing with you when you're wearing lava, wear black tourmaline because People are going to reveal themselves to you when you're wearing lava. People are going to reveal themselves very quickly, but just so they can get their, their karma on the spot. People flat out transform. People will just transform on the spot. So they'll get the smoke, but they'll get volcanic smoke. <laughs> How cool is this? This information is really cool. I'll have the best lava in the entire world at floridasomian.com soon, but... Uh, oh! Oh, how cool! More... One thing about lava too, it illuminates. So basically, it'll make you appear more beautiful. It'll make you appear more hot. Wow! It'll have more people being passionate for you, or people will just get, like, just, for example, if you're in a relationship, you're, whoever you're with, your spouse, your wife, your husband, etc., they'll see you in this, like, they'll feel hot for you, and they'll think you're more hot. By hot, I mean, like, hot as in, like, okay, this brownie is heated up versus this brownie and brownie as an example i'm thinking about starbucks for an example but this brownie is heated up versus this brownie is cold when you bite into the heated up brownie it's like mm. versus you bite into that cold brownie in the starbucks i'm like it's pretty good it's, it's it's quite exquisite with a, a detail of a chocolate chip versus oh this is hot this is a hot brownie and i like brownies if you can't tell certain angels like brownies too but uh this is uh, a video brought to you by lava woohoo which the Most High God has given us lava to learn about lava. So it has all the elements in it. It reveals people. It makes you more hot. It, it's a love stone as well. A uh, passion stone, not just like a lust stone. I don't teach lust. There's no case, no case scenario in the Bible where lust has been a good thing. But it'll have people who are overly shy approaching you to say hi. It'll have, uh, let's just say, it's good for business connections as well. Let's just say... Ooh, it's good for example if you're buying a car if you're going if you're going to try looking at places to buy a house if you're going to a thrift store and someone's trying to get over on you oh hi bird you keep finding me every time i move move around the bird keeps finding me hello 
if you can hear the bird. My little bird friend. Archangel Gabriel is associated with birds, but how cool with lava. Anyone who tries to do you wrong, you'll see it in their face when you're wearing lava. It just basically makes people very uncomfortable because it gets rid of their demons. I'm going to talk about that in the future. The river of fire. Yep. I, I have to talk about that in the future. Basically, one thing I have found is demons hate lava. Keep that in mind. Demons cannot stand it. It's the ultimate, like, I gotta study that more. Because I didn't realize that until recently. I'm like, oh, that's why God made the river of fire. It's because they really don't, they don't like, they don't like that. How cool. It's not like, it's not the river of ice. It's the river of fire. Any questions, guys, ask them in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, check out floridasomian.com. Ciao.